uh, less high resolution maybe we got in trouble with the plans later on but uh, anyway I prefer it uh, centered. Um, I'm going to uh, talk uh, in today um, in preparation of uh, workshops but in fact I, uh, it's also more or less a lecture uh, on a project we have been doing uh, last year. Um, uh, first, uh, because we were selected as curator of the Belgian uh, Pavilion at the Architecture Biennial in Venice, uh, where we responded to a, a call for projects within the topic of, uh, uh, with a suggested uh, topic how we can deal with Flanders as a region, as a trans-border, a cross-border, trans-European uh, uh, territory. Um, um, later on, we did the exhibition in Venice, we copied it, or we made a, a second a remake in Antwerp, and during that uh, exhibition we also organized workshops and debates and a conference a symposium on the topic of the ambition of the territory Flanders as a design project um, I, oops what's going on no I, I know what's happening that's better. To the, the question that was asked, you are all planners, so you must have already noticed that uh, it's a very general, very complex uh, issue, uh, how you can uh, present uh, the future of a whole territory within the, the, the complex uh, situation uh, in which urban planning, urbanism and architecture are uh, these days. There's a complex field of, of, of things that are going on. And first we were very, very confused about uh, how to respond to that question. And we composed a very uh, confusing team. Uh, because we thought the only thing that we can do is gather people that are in their practice, are dealing with this notion of uh, urban, rural territory um, in, their, in, their, in their own practice. And we composed a team together with a, a, a Dutch cartographer, Joost Grotens, who, make, uh, who makes urban atlases, with a uh, an urbanist practice grow from Paris with uh, architects, uh, very uh, international renowned architects from Ghent, De Velder, Vink, Tailleux, and with uh, an artist, a drawer, let's say, somebody who's drawing, uh, who's uh, with his uh, art reacting on uh, societal issues by drawing. So we gathered a team of uh, five very, very different uh, people uh, who are uh, here they are, um, who are all of them trying to understand and to develop uh, innovative uh, models how to deal with our uh, spatial environment but by different means from cartography to art. I will try to, uh, to, to go a little bit quicker. This is the, to, to, to be able to, to, to say more uh, on two of the, of, the, of the project that has been developed by Grau because they are more fitting into the topic of the, of the surroundings that you are visiting today and of the topic of pure hubs. But uh, we made this exhibition in uh, Venice um, here you see some, uh, some pictures of how the artist Ante Temmermans, how he reacted with a very, very interesting, um, but not always easy to understand, drawings on how he sees the uh, European uh, reality. For instance, let's see, on the right, there's a kind of uh, a, a representation of the Disneyfication of uh, our uh, urban uh, reality. 
like um, what do you call that Disneyland. So we in in the pavilion we. The only thing that we could do was not pretend to bring um, the project for Flanders because that's impossible. We only had uh, six months to prepare it. The only thing that we could do was try to draw and redraw what we saw and how we thought that it could be represented in another way to make people better understand this Flemish condition. So we gathered uh, in the exhibition space drawings and one model and some booklets and that's it. Come back to that. Another uh, room of Ante Temmermans as artists responding on the drawings. But now to come to the, to come to the point. Uh, as your uh, professor already introduced, Flanders is quite uh, different than, uh, than England and than other territories uh, in the world. Um, especially because it's a very, very, it has a very, very weird tr tradition of urban planning. Let's say there was almost none. Uh, everything is very dispersed, very chaotic, very um, spread out, organized, horizontally organized and fragmented. This is an example that I want to show. These are all the, the, the lots that are available for extension of uh, housing on a certain scale. We do the zoom out and it's uh, extremely it looks like a disease, but it's extremely difficult to know where we are. Of course, for you, that I can understand, but for me, for people who are urban planners in Flanders, even they could not say where this zoom is taken. Uh, based on all the uh, housing extension areas in Flanders. This is Flanders, the northern part of Belgium, Brussels in the middle. And this is all these uh, housing extension areas together with the existing empty plots in housing uh, areas. So this is if we are attending one million new people for 2050, if nothing would happen, all these people would build houses in these red spots. And we would, we could say that this would evolve into one big soup, one big mess. Again, a zoom, still we don't know where we are. And what's very important to state now, today, is that only after we added the, uh, the waterways and the open space and the nature and the agricultural zones, suddenly we start to find out that we are looking at uh, Antwerp. For people who know the area, from this side, the uh, slide on, they can understand where we are. So, this is the empty housing plots, extension zones, plus the built area. You see this fragmented um, linear development all over the place and actual urban planning policy in Flanders will make it even worse. You must already know that this kind of uh, urban structure doesn't seem extremely sustainable at first sight because you have a lot of mobility issues, a lot of infrastructure need to be built to get your car in front of your house, a lot of um, also for, 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 for other um, equipment uh, we need to pay as a community a lot of infrastructure cost for a quite um, low, dense, very dispersed area. Because you come from abroad, I add a couple of pictures that we um, 
ordered, uh, let's say, from a Dutch photographer, Dieritje Coleman, who made uh, a tour in Flanders and tried to, to frame the, the contact zone between this dispersed urban reality and the open space. For instance, this is very typical uh, Flemish situation. It's a row house in the middle of nowhere uh, with a little a garden in front and a garden in the back waiting for another row house that will probably never come. And that's uh, very particular for Flanders because uh, Ever since Belgium and Flanders exist, there's a very there's a tradition of individual ownership, and everybody bought for economic reasons a very small, uh, very small parcel, and then they had the contact with the, the the street and with the countryside in the back, but uh, you never know that you can sell a the, the, the plot next to it for somebody else uh, for uh, a second house. So everything is organized uh, like this. But of course more and more globalization is, is, is uh, having its influence on, uh, on our territory too. Like um, uh, near the harbor of Antwerp, uh, containers. This is a typical um, uh, housing settlement uh, as built by uh, investment investors, promoters, housing, building firms. This is a typical example of uh, the relation between uh, a lot of railway infrastructure, a lot of uh, uh, normal uh, car infrastructure, uh, the infrastructure of uh, waterways, some nature. So it's a very fragmented uh, situation. This is uh, in Saint Catalina Waver. It's uh, not. Uh, it's in the area between Brussels and Antwerp, where we are focusing on today. And uh, yeah, you see that the glass house um, uh, industry or glass house ag agriculture is uh, now more and more also an area where people come and live and they build their own uh, houses um, in the in the countryside. But at the same time, it's a very close to very urban uh, development. Typical uh, Belgian infrastructure with uh, a, a square farmsteads on the right, uh, some not very well defined, uh, not very well planned and organized uh, placement of uh, windmills, uh, industry, uh, very, and that's also a very typical juxtaposition of uh, commerce, housing, some uh, farming uh, uh, next to a, a railway uh, and so on. Uh, a highway, uh, sorry. Another confrontation of um, this is, is the border this is the border of Brussels where they are investing in a very big um, how to say um, a regional express network, so a regional train uh, network uh, to bring people first they all 